Hello guys, welcome back, and today I'm going to be talking about the St. Louis Blues and then making their star players available for a trade. Blues GM Doug Armstrong has reportedly made multiple great Blues players available for a trade, so that begs the question, which great players will be traded and of course which teams are interested? Now, the St. Louis Blues have gotten off to a super disappointing start. Right now, they're currently fourth last in the entire NHL. And if you would have said that a year ago, I would have thought you were crazy. Because with the St. Louis Blues, they, pre they practically went all in this offseason, making multiple trades, making multiple free agent signings to bolster the roster. And now, they're rumored to blow the entire team up because the team isn't doing too well. Now, right now, the team is at an 11, 14, and 4 record. Certainly not good, but when you look at the expectations of St. Louis coming into the season, they were very, very high, and some people had St. Louis as a top 5 contender for the Stanley Cup. So with their placement right now in the standings, it obviously begs the question, what will they do to fix this, and of course, what trades will we actually see? With the St. Louis Blues, we've already seen them make changes, of course, with their head coach, Mike Eo. He was fired. But with Barube, it's not really been too much better. And for the St. Louis Blues, it might just be a personnel thing. Now, last, pretty much a couple of days ago, we saw two teammates fight in the St. Louis Blues practice, Bertuzzo and Sanford. So this locker room and this team has already been pretty dysfunctional this season. And it's just going to keep getting worse as these trade rumors continue to pile up. But right now, it's panic time in St. Louis, especially with the expectations that they had and the record that they have right now. We can see some big cha or some big changes happen and some big trades happen because the St. Louis State Blues team just might need a big shakeup. And I think that's what Doug Armstrong is going to want to accomplish in the next couple of months or leading up to the trade deadline is to make something big happen because right now with this team, it's just not working. Now, when it comes to sources for a potential trade, and of course the trade rumors that have been coming up in the last couple of days, the main guy reporting this has been Jeremy Rutherford. Now, he is a St. Louis Blues reporter for The Athletic, and he spewed some massive information in the last couple of days, and yesterday he released a huge tidbit. Now, he said, quote, that a couple of GMs around the NHL have said that they're hearing the big names on the trade block. Everything is open, even Vladimir Tarasenko. Now, he also says that a GM said that I heard Tarasenko is available. Now, unless those GMs are lying, which I wouldn't really expect that to be the case, that is big, big news. This isn't just some reporter off the street reporting this. Jeremy Rutherford has a big, big track record. And with this information, we know that St. Louis is deeply in talks with some teams. Now, that doesn't mean that there's a trade happening in the next couple of days. It just means that some star players are available. Tarasenko, Petriangelo, you name it. Now, we've already heard a big rumor about Petriangelo possibly going to the Toronto Maple Leafs. Now, I'm not sure how credible that was, but when it comes to the star players for St. Louis, I honestly wouldn't be surprised if Petriangelo is a player to get shipped off. While he is the captain, I can see a big name defenseman like that. Having a breath of new fresh air would do a lot of good for him. This season, he hasn't played all that well. If he goes to a contending team, I feel like that would spark a big plug in him, and I feel like it would be great for Petriangelo and a team that possibly acquires him. And you gotta remember, St. Louis was pretty much a contender going into the season. They had big expectations. So they got some great players on their hands, and they got a lot of options when it comes to potential trades. Now, it'll be really be interesting to see if these trades actually happen, but they got a lot of solid forwards, a lot of solid defensemen, guys like Pareko, maybe Bo Meester gets shipped off, and of course, maybe there's a question around Jake Allen if he ends up getting shipped off, because right now with St. Louis, their golding situation is kind of all over the place, and Jake Allen might be the guy to go, especially if he still has trade value. Now, sometimes comparing teams can be a little bit tricky, but this St. Louis team and the situation that they're going in kind of reminds me of the New York Rangers last season. Now, they're nowhere near the same team. There are a lot of different teams, but when it comes to their situation, they had expectations, they blew it, they're in a bad position, and then they go on a potential rebuild. They go on a potential fire sale at the trade deadline. That's what New York did, and it's definitely benefiting them for the long run, and St. Louis might go down that road if they want to stockpile prospects and stockpile stockpile future pieces. 
St. Louis has had a pretty good drafting record in the last few years, getting guys like Kyrou, Thomas, and you name it. They've done a pretty good job in that respect. So for St. Louis, I wouldn't be completely against them going down that rebuild mode, even though I'm not a Blues fan. I think it would work for them in the long run, just because their development and scouting staff is honestly one of the best in the NHL, and they've been proven to do well in that department. But if St. Louis is actually serious about a potential fire sale, that could be a lot of drama around the trade deadline if guys like Vladimir Tarasenko, Alex Patriangelo, Colin Pareko are on the block. Imagine the possibilities and the potential trades and the potential big trades that could happen if that were to happen. Of course, leading up to the trade deadline, we could see a lot of different trades. Of course, St. Louis could be really the highlight of the entire trade deadline. Now, what also makes this a weird situation is that it was first reported as all players are available for the St. Louis Blues, but it was actually reported that just some of the big names are available. So when it comes to the entire team, I don't see it being a gigantic fire sale, but I see a couple of players being shipped off, especially if St. Louis wants to make a big move to get better, or maybe to get better for the future. Now, Rutherford also said that, to his knowledge, St. Louis Blues haven't been calling other teams for trade talks. They haven't called other teams for saying all, t all players are available. That's not what they've been hearing. But when it came to GMs that said that guys like Tarasenko were available, that was just them having the sense that guys like that were available. And, of course, when it came to NHL GMs, they know a lot more than the average Joe, so I would take their word for it, too. But for St. Louis, while we might not see a complete fire sale, I think there's a lot of possibilities when it came when it comes to their star players potentially getting traded. I still think that Petriangelo is probably the biggest bet to get traded. I think he has the most trade value on the team because being that big top two defenseman, I think he's going to command as much as possible. But guys like Tarasenko obviously are superstars, are going to get a lot of trade value. And of course with St. Louis, again, they were coming into the season as contenders, so they got a lot of potential options. If they're looking for trade partners. Now, if I had to list the four players that I think were the most likely to get traded, I would definitely start with Petriangelo. I would go Tarasenko number two. I would have Steen at number three, and I would have Jake Allen number four. Those would be my four likeliest trade options, but of course, St. Louis has some other depth guys that could command some decent uh, trade value, maybe some picks, maybe a couple of okay prospects. But when it comes down to St. Louis, they have a lot of trade value on their team if they wish to go down the route of just burning it all and starting from scratch. And also, when we look at the teams in the front of the NHL that are leading the NHL, there's a lot of teams that could possibly be in the mix for a rental player and for a player to really boost their playoff chances. Teams like Toronto have cap space. Calgary could be in a mix for a player. Buffalo, of course, having all the cap space in the world, too. Colorado having most of the cap space in the world. They are looking pretty solid. There's a lot of teams in the mix that I think could definitely use a player on St. Louis. And, of course, St. Louis still has great, great players on their squad. And I think a lot of teams heading to the playoffs would desperately want. And again, just looking at the New York Rangers uh, uh, comparison from last season, New York practically dominated that trade market going into the trade deadline. And of course, looking back on the trades that they got and the picks that they got, they seriously did a great job in that trade deadline. And St. Louis, if they go down that route of completely rebuilding, getting picks, getting prospects, they could really handle this trade market and handle the trade deadline if they were to do so. And if they do that, New York obviously doing a pretty good job. I can't see why St. Louis wouldn't do the same. And I would definitely say that St. Louis has bigger names than New York did last season and what New York traded last season. When it comes to the names, I mean, Tarasenko, Petriangelo, Steen, Allen, maybe even a guy like Colton Pareko. They got a lot of great players that if they were to trade, would command a ton of trade value and a ton of assets going back to St. Louis. And while New York got a lot last season, I don't think they have the players that St. Louis does. And if St. Louis does go down that route, they could get a serious haul this season and could be stacked for this next draft. But when it comes to that actually happening, I'm not 100% sure about that. For St. Louis, they still have a decent team, so maybe waiting it out, maybe getting a good pick this season. Remember, the pick, the first round pick they gave to Buffalo in that Ryan O'Reilly trade is lottery protected. So if they were to tank this season, it wouldn't matter that much, and maybe they get a good pick in this season. But they could still maybe contend next season if they maybe get a better goaltender than Jake Allen. They maybe get that defense sorted out. They could still be a decent team if they go down that route. But I think that's just postponing the inevitable of this team, and obviously this team has some problems 
problems in that locker room especially. So I think maybe Bill, just blowing it up and giving players away for picks and assets coming back might be the best move for St. Louis in the long run. But again, it just seems crazy making this video and it seems crazy talking to you guys about this topic because if you would have said that I'd be making this video a few months ago before the season, I would have thought you were absolutely crazy. But here we are, the St. Louis Blues desperately, desperately in a bad position and of course disappointing practically everybody. I predicted them to get third in the Central Division. I thought they would improve guys like Ryan O'Reilly, Patrick Maroon, David Perron, but right now it's been exactly the opposite and it's just been a terrible, terrible fate for the St. Louis Blues, and one that not many would have predicted. But again, with Doug Armstrong and that St. Louis Blues management team going into the season and going into the offseason, they were really promising the fans to have a true contending team and to really contend for that Stanley Cup. They did the best they can, getting guys like Ryan O'Reilly again, David Perron, and Patrick Maroon in the offseason. They really thought their team was complete. And for me, for the St. Louis Blues, I thought their team was pretty solid. But of course, looking back on it, it's just a weird situation with the St. Louis Blues. The defense is kind of crippled all together. The goaltending has been a complete disaster. The offense has been okay. Guys like Ryan O'Reilly have really fit in well, but it's just not enough to save the team. And right now, they're practically floundering. This team really, I think, is a playoff team nine times out of ten coming into the season. But of course, that one, that ten percent really bit them in the butt, and this season we've seen that so far. Really not a lot of good things have gone for them, and of course they've been piling up the injuries in the last couple of weeks. So when it comes to the St. Louis Blues, it's been a mixture of unluckiness, bad play, and disappointment. And while, of course, I still think that St. Louis has a decent team on their hands, right now with guys like Tarasenko, Petriangelo, Steen, Allen, maybe even Colton Pareko available, a trade might be in order. And, of course, with the NHL, with this trade rumor coming out, the highlights and the spotlight will be on St. Louis going forward. But of course, I want to hear your guys' thoughts down in the comments down below. So let me know what you think about the St. Louis Blues trade rumors. Do you think guys like Pareko, Tarasenko, Petriangelo would get traded? And of course, what do you think about the St. Louis Blues season so far? But of course, if you guys want some more grab videos, you can watch this video where I talk about five surprising NHL players so far. But that is going for you guys. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell if you haven't already. Again, comment down below your thoughts on St. Louis Blues and these St. Louis Blues trade rumors. And I'll see you guys in the next video or stream. Goodbye.